After, you know, after last week, you know, kind of the second half after, you know, just what can you guys take from that going forward? Uh, honestly, we can just take, if we start like that, like no team is going to be able to mess with us. Like obviously coming out of the second half and everybody just buying in together, just locking in and, you know, telling each other that we trust in each other and um, we're just going to make plays and that's what it came down to. How much of a confidence booster was that for you guys, you know, especially after the way the first five games have been going? I mean, it, we know, like, that's what we're capable of. So, I mean, it's not too much of a shock to us. I mean, obviously, as a confidence booster, as in, you know, we, we finally put it out there and showed each other. But, I mean, we do it every week in practice, so it's nothing major to us. Zion, you, you moved around a different, different, couple different positions now, right? You played some nickel, you played some, some safety. How similar are those positions? Or are they very different? Um, I mean, I would say nickel, I mean, it's pretty different just because, you know, like, run fits are different and, you know, like, coverage is from, you know, a different standpoint, you know, safety much farther back, I know field safety is the deepest, you know, but I would say all of them go hand in hand, you know, um, they all help out with each other, so Nick will help me uh, with boundary safety now, you know, coverage-wise, there's a lot more coverage, but they just kind of all flow together. So I was like to go from a couple years of waiting to now, it's like, you get sniffed to play time and more and more people are at you. I mean, honestly, it's just a blessing, you know. Uh, you know, I just, I believe patience and prayer, that's kind of how I go about it. So I was just patient, you know, I had some good guys ahead of me. Um, and then, you know, just trusting the process and trusting my coaches ultimately, and, you know, it's, it's paying off. How much are you learning on the fly? How much are just kind of, you know, seeing what is believing in the, <laughs> when you're in the fire, I guess, you know? I mean, getting thrown out there, it, it's just, it's honestly just a good feeling because, you know, you, you got your brothers around you, you know, I got 10 other dudes out there who trust in me and I trust in them. So whatever happens, happens, you know, and then, it, it comes a lot from the practice, you know. Um, practice is it, it's harder than the game, in my opinion, you know, because you know we're flying around this fast, you know, and it it, it slows down in the game, which is it's just huge for your oh God, for yourself, for Amarian, uh, for Ty, you know, all kind of new guys there in the the defensive backfield. You know, how have you guys kind of been growing together throughout the season? And you know, what's what's that growth been like? Uh, it, it's fun, you know. Uh, those are all cool dudes who, you know, we just kind of met and became friends and all that, you know, we're brothers now. So uh, the process, I mean, we, we're all learning together, you know, new positions. Um, and, you know, every day we just attack it with the same mindset. You know, we, we talk every morning, like going to meetings and let's just, you know, be great today. You know, you guys kind of represent the future of that of that backfield. Just, you know, what's kind of, what's what's it like, you know, kind of knowing that they'll be with you for, for the next couple of years? Like I said, it's, it's a good feeling, you know, uh, I like what we're doing out there, you know, young group, you know, um, and we're having fun doing it, so we're going to continue to do that. You got, you got a little something on Mario or anything like that? I mean, he's a, what is it about his character that's like just made him fit in right away with this team? Uh, he's a funny dude. I mean, he's hilarious, you know. Uh, obviously, you guys have probably seen his family too. His family's funny. They're, they're all just real good people, and he's just fun to be around. What was it like after uh, his interception? I think you guys did a lap around the type of field. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, everybody is celebrating, you know, that's a huge moment for him, you know, we love the dude. He just came in, and to see him make a big play like that, like, you know, that's what everybody dreams dreams about, and we all celebrated with him, we made sure that we, uh, he knew that we were proud of him. The last couple of years, you're going to sit behind a guy like J.L. Skinner, who is like, you know, a strong safety. All right. What is it about the strong safety position that just, like, fits you? Um, I would say, honestly, just being able to be in the run fits, and obviously uh, being able to cover as, as well, you know, J.L., he was a monster when it came to the run fit, so like that's a that's great for you know the younger dudes to watch. Like we saw how it happened, you know, it's different from high school. Obviously, you kind of just sit back and kind of float around and stuff, but you know, college is a lot quicker and uh, being able to adjust on the fly, like learning from him was it was huge. Yes, I don't exactly the NFL. You stay in contact at all or anything? Oh yeah, I talk to him about it every day. Really? Yeah. Really? Like yeah, that's my boy. Phone, how do you talk? You know, he might FaceTime every once in a while, text, Snapchat, whatever. What the, what are you talking about? I mean, like, I mean, yeah. just whatever. I mean, you know, that's my brother on and off the field, so it doesn't even have to be about football. Just, you know, he checks in with me, um, how I'm doing, you know, football, obviously. But away from that, just how I'm doing, how my family's doing, you know, just a good guy. How much does he still influence what you do on the football field, though? Oh, a whole lot. I mean, he, he'll tell me if he sees me doing some, you know, something that I don't need to be doing or be able to fix it or, you know, critique me a little bit, like, fix this, fix that, which helps. Like, he, he still watches us and, you know, gives us input, which is, which is huge. How did you get so close? Uh, I mean, he was the first guy that I talked to when I when I committed here and when I was coming here. You know, he was the safety who you know got on the phone with me. So um, 
and then obviously through the experience that we had our class, you know, um, getting recruited by Harson and them, and then they leave right after we signed. So he just, you know, told me to buy in, like he's going to be every, uh, with me every step, and he was. So that's huge. Zion, were you ever a fan, or did you ever play the NCAA video games while you were growing up? Yeah, I did. Uh, you know, yeah. who do you who do you who do you play at? I mean, I don't know if you want to say if it was someone. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, LSU or you? I mean, that's where my family's from, Louisiana, yeah. Oklahoma. So that's you know, kind of who I was on the game. Just, 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 just kind of what 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 were, what were your memories of playing that game, and just kind of how cool is it to to know that you know you'll be in future iterations yeah. of it? I mean, it's awesome. It's crazy to think about because you know, obviously, we weren't thinking that we would. I mean, one day being in the game, I mean, that's a, that's a dream of everybody's, but now that it's actually happening, it's like, it's pretty surreal. Have you thought about kind of, you know, next year kind of going into there and kind of taking control of, uh, of the safety and you yeah. know, kind of, I mean, kind of trying, to, trying to make a play back there? On the... I mean, I, it came across our mind a little bit, you know, but like when it happens, it happens. We'll probably help on the game a little bit. <laughs> I was going to ask you, Jalen's a lot of pride in number. You, you ever push that on, on you? I uh, mean, yeah, he told me if I earn it, I can wear it. So, I mean. Maybe, maybe one of these days I'll throw it on. What do you guys do to work with her in his mind? I mean, in his mind, you know, JL, he, he's, a, he's a different man on the field, so you just, you got to bring it, really. He'll see it. He'll let you know. <laughs> do you have to get the approval from him, or do you, is that something that you're going to say, like, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm waiting, setting my own goals, and I mean, when I achieve <laughs> them, then I'll try to go for it. I mean, there's been plenty of times where I've been messing around with him, so I'm like, yeah, I'm in zero now. Like, coach gave me zero, bro, and he's just like, no, he didn't. Like, you got you to gotta talk to me first. And I'm like, all right, got you. Anything else? That's good. So, I mean, you're a bigger guy. Take back to your high school career. Did you always play in the secondary, or were you a linebacker at that point? Or? No, I didn't play even until my senior year. Uh, I moved to safety my senior year. Um, I was a more offensive guy. I played quarterback when I was growing up, and then receiver up until my junior year. That's what I played, and then... I just made the flip my senior year, you know, coaches for recruiting and stuff. They said that they think I would be a good fit there, and there I am. What was that transition like? I mean, you're used to taking the hits from those years, now you're delivering them. What was that like for you? Uh, honestly, it was pretty smooth. You know, I had a good high school coach who, you know, made the transition for me. And then, you know, um, when it came down to, like, tracking the ball and stuff, that was already just, you know, in me. So, and then I had a, a great trainer um, flight, and, and he's in Dallas, Texas. So he got me right. You know, I started off. You know, not ready at all, basically. Yeah. And he got me to where I needed to be. So given that you only played two years defense before coming to college, what was your learning curve like once you got here? I mean, you feel like you had to start from, some, from ground zero, basically? I mean, essentially, yeah, just because, you know, it is a lot different, especially in college and high school. Like I said, high school, you can kind of just, you know, just be there and make plays if you're athletic. Um, here, you know, you have to be very disciplined, which I've learned, you know, throughout, you know, the older guys. Like I said, Ty Jones was another big dude. Um, who helped me with that, you know, getting in the playbook and stuff is huge. So that's how I can use that. All right, thank you all.